Okay, I now have the Apache Labs 10E, as you can see, and I'll show the unboxing video in a moment. It was pretty anticlimactic. There's not much in the box. Well, there's nothing in the box except for the radio and the 12-volt uh, power cable that provides power to it. No documentation or anything like that. And it came in a much smaller box than I was anticipating, but it was well-packed regardless. I want to talk a minute about the procedure of ordering this. The Apache Labs 10E was announced on the 22nd of April of 2025 and pre-orders were taken at that time. I pre-ordered on that date, 22nd of April, with the notification that from Apache Labs that the radios would ship in two weeks. On the 12th of May, I received an email from Apache Labs saying that the PCB fabrication is complete and enclosures are being produced and uh, that printed circuit board assembly would begin in two more weeks. On the 16th of June, I received an email from Apache Labs saying that they were moving to their California facility and um, that they now had a contract manufacturer in California. On the 17th of October, I received my invoice from Apache Labs to go ahead and pay the balance that I owed them, which was the complete price for the radio. I hadn't paid anything up to this point, nor was I asked to. So I paid the price for the radio, $850, and a notification that the radio would ship in 10 to 12 days. On the 3rd of November, I received an, in, or an email from Apache Labs saying that their completed units had arrived in California and would begin shipping to American customers from that location. On the 8th of November, I received my tracking number from Apache Labs, and um, that tracking number was for UPS. And today, 13th of November, I received it. It's been 12 weeks. Let's, um, I'm sorry, it's been seven months since uh, pre-ordering the radio and their two-week promise of delivery. Anyway, let's open the box up and see how things look. Okay, here is the Apache Labs Avon 10E that I've been waiting for for uh, seven months. Finally arrived just a few minutes ago and someone asked for an unboxing video. So uh, let's see what's in here. It's a smaller box than I had anticipated. Power cable and rubber feet to put on the bottom. And there it is, no documentation. Um, it's a different color than the original 10E. The original was blue. And as you can see, I'm running my Hermes Light 2 in the background here. There's a size comparison. And the back of it. The main reason I wanted this over the Hermes Light 2 is uh, it has slightly more output power, more dynamic range, but the main reason is the Apache Labs covers 6 meters and the Hermes Light does not. So this will be replacing the Hermes Light and uh, that'll be a few days from now. I've got to um, download and install Thetis for this, which is a different version of the Thetis that I run um, with the Hermes Light 2. As you can see right here, it has HL2. So it's slightly different, and uh, I'll have two versions of Thetis installed on here, one for one radio and one for the other. Anyway, I'm glad to have it. Um, a few days from now, I should have it up and online, and uh, 
we'll see how things go. And uh, I'm curious to see how six meters is. I haven't been on that band in quite a while. 73, thanks for watching.